Mauri Pagliacci of Iron Far here with Mr. Kilian Jornet before the 2016 Segama Scorri. Kilian, how are you? Hi everybody, hey. really good. Really good. Yeah. Um, down of the skis now. Yeah, actually really just down of the skis. Uh, until two days ago I was skiing, good conditions still in Norway, so not many running this year, but it's a race that you want to be in Segama, so anyway. It's, all your, it's one of your only two races in the year, right? Well, scheduled races. Yeah, actually, I will maybe do some small race like close to home if it fits in, but uh, only like uh, the plan this summer is to climb much more, to do much more mountaineering to, uh, before we go to Everest. So running, I was just thinking to do the Gamma and Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. So yeah, much less running this year than others. Yeah. When are you planning to go to Everest actually? Uh, the plan is to go there on August, August. so to stay there for the for the fall. Yeah, and doing it on the on the China side, right? Yeah, they have to go to the north side, uh, and yeah, we go all the team together with yeah. Seb and, and the guys. Yeah, that's great. Just for any reason, going for through China or uh, just just because? Yeah, the idea to go through China it's um, because uh, the north face is where it can be less technical other than the normal roads. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to go to the normal roads to be more like doing an alpine road mm -hmm. and to be alone in the mountain and that's why we decided to go to, to the north face and then we, we decide which road if Horve North or North or another cool there. Okay, great. So how was your taper week for Zigama? <laughs> so the week was uh, pretty <laughs> A big week because uh, I, I, I was actually filming for Fisky TV, so yeah. oh. <laughs> no, not exactly the same uh, as, as running fast, and, but uh, yeah, it was cool. Uh, on Monday we did a long crossing, like 6,500 meters ascent with uh, like 13 hours uh, skiing with technical terrain, and then the last days we were skiing and doing some, some steep couloirs. Mm. But yeah, in between I could play some like runnings to, to start to run a bit before before the race. Yeah, that's good. And how, how do you see the competition this year? It's pretty stacked, like, related to other years. Yeah, it's uh, the game it has always a big level and now it's interesting because uh, the first years I was coming here, it was like, uh, I was like the kid in the table. Mm -hmm. It was like Ricardo Mejia, Gusti Rock, uh, uh, Poletti, uh, uh, Casta and Tarzan, all these guys, uh, and I was the kid. And today, with Tom Owens, who was in the table, I was like, wow, we are the oldest ones yeah. here. And it's really interesting to see like all these young guys coming strong. And I think tomorrow it will be really, really cool because it's these like different generations and, yeah. and together. But it's, it's actually weird because you're not that old, you're 28, but the problem is they are like 20, right? Yeah, they are really young. The, the guys like Remy Bonnet is 20, Misha. Uh, Manu Merigi is 25, uh, yeah. it's really, really young people but really strong. Yeah. How do you see it, it, like the whole world has changed, the whole trail running world changed since you started with 20-ish and you were the young guy and now you see all these kids running. Yeah, it, it but changed. it's a smaller gap, right? Yeah, it's, um, it's, inter it's beautiful to see that, that it's a sport that it was a long time ago or some years ago it was more supposed to do for all people. And today to see that it's young guys that they are really interested in that and they mm -hmm. have find the mountains and to see that it's really cool. Uh, and yeah, it's it's nice to see that races like that they they attract to, to young people and and yeah that's a really really cool thing. Great. Well the last one, the weather. What are you expecting? <laughs> uh, today it was so hot and dry, like it was not looking like the comet, it was looking more like Western States. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, and the provision is that, that tomorrow they say cold and rain. Yeah. So for me it's better because I haven't run too much, so to, if I want to have a chance in front of uh, Mark Laurentian or Remy Bonnet or these guys, I think we need a lot of rain yeah. and a lot of <laughs> cold, so yeah, normally the weather it will be something like that. It's okay. more like the gamma. Yeah, but it should stop for the evening, so we... For the, for the after yeah, race. Yeah, the after race, race uh, I don't think it matters much yeah. because if it's raining a lot, anyway, you don't feel the rain. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think for the, yeah, because the gamma is the race, but the after race is almost harder it's, than that. It's harder, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for your time and have an awesome day tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay.